asked for an autopsy when I was there <coughs> Sunday, and I asked the um, I either asked the head nurse or asked the medical examiner somebody, and they just brushed me off and said, "There's no need. There's no need." And I said, uh, uh, "I didn't know anything. I, I, I just asked for one just because I thought it was the right thing to do. Not that I thought anything. I just um." Thought that's what you're supposed to do when someone you love dies young. You just ask for an autopsy, and um, but then I said, well, I said, well, what about you know finding out if she was on medicine or what kind of medicine or if she was pregnant or anything like that? And they said you need a toxicology report. I said, okay, well, I want that. So they they said yes. So a toxicology toxicology report was ordered, and I'll, I'll have the results of that. I think they said it could take months, but it could be anywhere from three more weeks to three yes. months. So they we there was a story. As Christians, of course, we know she's not here and uh, in heaven, and she's you know worshiping and enjoying. And I hadn't even had time to look down here yet, but um, I got this lay next to her body and went down with her body about four times this week. And each time, it still didn't hit me. Um, I thought she was going to wake up. You know, I even tried to raise her from the dead uh, one time this week, and. Uh, and that, that morning, actually, I went to the mall later. She had bought me this um, dog tag, and the chain broke, so I went to the mall to get it fixed. And I saw a, a, a female about 20, 30 feet in front of me, and she was wearing one of Micah's dresses. And she had the same tattoo Micah has on her arm and the exact same hair. And out of just instinct, I screamed, Micah! And the girl turned and it was one of her sisters. <laughs> and I thought, I, I thought I raised her from the dead. She's alive, you know. But, um... I can't wait to see her again one day.